Hello everyone, my greetings to all from Enactus India and the change makers who have joined us for this year's national competition. I can truly imagine the excitement and nervousness that everyone must be feeling right now, having been in the same situation not much time back. During my entire college life at SRCC, there is one question that I came across most often, and that was, what is Enactus? A question by our friends, family members, every strategic partner we contacted, and every other person we came across. Over the time spent in Enactus SRCC, the answer to this question changed from an international non-profit student-run social entrepreneurial organization to a life-changing experience for self, students, and the society. For me, what personally differentiates social entrepreneurship is the fact that in social entrepreneurship, it is not just you who is being benefited from your venture at the end of the day. There are so many people in need who get impacted, either economically, socially, emotionally, or environmentally. Many people believe that social entrepreneurship is just an element or a part of entrepreneurship, whereas I believe that the scenario is completely opposite. Entrepreneurship is just an aspect of social entrepreneurship because social entrepreneurship entails the holistic development of both profits and people. A lot of people also confuse social entrepreneurship with charity work. Hence, I would like to differentiate these three terms uh, with something from my own personal experience. So at Pital, we empower the artisans uh, and revive their craft who handcraft brass, copper, and Kansa products. Ours is purely a social entrepreneurial venture since we work at reviving the life of these artisans and their age-old craft while generating profits for them through showcasing their products at the global level. Let's say if we stopped working with these artisans and started using machines to make these products, Ours will be purely an entrepreneurial venture because we are just making profits for ourselves and not helping a lot of other people in the process. Now, in the third scenario, if we were to just provide these artisans with monetary donations or food, we would be termed to be doing a charity work because we are not doing or promoting any business activity here. So this is where social entrepreneurship comes into the picture and proves that it is so important for the holistic development of our society as a whole. Social entrepreneurship has made me realize that everyone can be an entrepreneur and the best ones that I have seen are definitely the community members. I have learned so much from so some of the artisans that we work with. Like for example, one of our artisans once told us how they can make use of small parts of brass sheets that get left over after the big products are made out of them. They started making small bowls, spoons out of those which could then be sold to people and generate money rather than going to waste. There's also another time when an artisan took the initiative and suggested us designs for diyas, which could sell heavily during the Diwali season. And they eventually did. Uh, I also remember that Mandeep Bhaiya, an artisan, remarked that he has never received more love and support in his entire life than the amount he received from us, not even from his own parents. And that is something which provides us the hope and motivation to keep working for them every single day. The fact of going to bed after knowing that an artisan was able to earn money today because of you, or a slum dweller was got clean water, or a child was able to attend a school, or someone was able to breathe pure air, that feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction is something which is truly un unmatched. There is no better feeling than it, trust me. Social entrepreneurship is difficult, but I believe if it is done with passion and hope, then there are very less chances of it failing because there are so many people whose blessings are with you, so many people whose hopes are with you, and those who are giving a positive energy to your initiative to succeed. Social entrepreneurship changes one in many ways, makes one take different roles at different times to sacrifice until good becomes better and better becomes best and to never settle for anything. It, it has made me realize the true meaning of words like initiative, ownership, impact, passion, perseverance, and that nothing is impossible. When we empower so many people in the process, it is us who get empowered all the way more. In the end, I would just like to mention that it is so heartwarming to see the kind of impact being made by all the Enactus India teams. I thank all the students, judges and entire Enactus India team for their participation and valuable contribution.
towards the national competition. Enactus for me is the biggest and strongest family. One family that stays together, grows together, falls together, rises together, cries and laughs together, and stands together. After all, together, we all win. With that being said, I wish all the teams best of luck for their endeavors during the competition and after it as well, because Enactus and Impact never stop. Thank you so much.